Akbar. It's a lot later now and I have makeup on. I was so excited to put on makeup because I just wanted to see what my skin would look like. But if I'm being honest, I'm not supposed to wear makeup until at least three days later. She said if I really, really had to, then 48 hours was fine. And I had to like put makeup on like for work and to get things done. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on. And I wanna see what my skin looks like. My skin is definitely like peeling all right here. So there's a lot of texture still and it's definitely not healed, but I don't know, I feel so happy with my makeup on. So now I'm about to get ready for Zarawi and I want to show you guys the um, abayas that I bought. I took out all the abayas that I brought back from Medina and hung them up. I wish I did more shopping there, but honestly I really was trying to like focus and not go shopping. So I only went like twice, one or, once or twice and my mom and sisters like chose a couple of them. So this is the first one, I've already worn it, but I thought it was pretty because I liked the color and um, it was really lightweight. We were looking for like linen fabric because we were wearing these in Medina and it was so hot there so we needed something lightweight. So we got this. I thought that was cute. I wore that yesterday. And then this one I really liked. Um, this is like a, I don't know, some like crinkled fabric and it's just kind of like a kimono style. Like it's open front. This is really pretty if you have like a um, layering piece underneath, like an underslip. Um, but yeah, I might wear this one today. And then I have a plain beige one with like these little sleeves. And then I have a black one that's also plain and it has like these little sleeves and it's A-line. And then this is my prayer outfit. This is what I pray in and these are all my hijabs. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wear this one. Also, can we take a moment for my prayer area? I swear I've been spending all my time here. It's so convenient. I love that I can like kind of escape and just relax here. And pray all night so that's my Quran and I need to put like a little like nightstand or something there so I can actually put my Quran and water bottle and stuff but yeah so I'm gonna put this on I probably should take this off honestly I'm just saying to go on whatever it gets pretty cold in the masjid but then it gets like hot because there's so many people there so I don't know I always wear a lot of leggings underneath my abaya because like if it moves then it looks more seamless this on. So this is the abaya. I think it's pretty. It's like different. I feel like it's very like Dubai style. And then for my hijab, I have this one on from Demore. It's a really pretty stone color. It's in the shade Dania. So yeah, this is my Zarawi fit. And now I'm gonna actually go grab coffee with my brother before we head to Zarawi. He said he's gonna come with me. We'll see if he changed his mind. Here's the new spot in a town. It is literally, oh my god, look at the line. It's literally popping. Everyone and their mom is here. Let me see and zoom in. Look how many people are in line. Oh my god, I luckily ordered on the phone, but I don't know how quick they're gonna be. I got the goods. It was so busy in there. This is my third time going, and every time I go, I bump into somebody. So the first few times I went looking like a bum, and then today I was like, there's no way I can walk in there looking like all ratchet again because there are so many people going because it's like the new spot in each town um but yeah i got the kamaria latte which is basically like a yemeni latte so it's two shots of espresso with honey cardamom and like some spices and it's honestly it's like the best coffee ever so we're gonna do a little taste test It is so good. I've been getting the little honeycomb dessert um, that they have as well. With this, today's like the first day I didn't get it. I got it yesterday and the day before. It's filled with cream cheese and they drizzle like honey on top. It is literally delicious, but I was like, I don't need that today. But... Mm. The spices, the honey... It's so good. They also have alternative milk options, which I love. So they have almond milk, oat milk, soy milk, and coconut milk. Actually, they have it all. Anyways, I'm here at Tarawi. You can probably hear the kids screaming. They're playing outside. So I'm going to run inside and pray. Oh, 
Everybody's watching us. It's like the last day. We just got done with the Wee. Why'd you show up so late? Showed up at the time that was convenient for me. That's not good. I showed up late too, and um, it was bad because all the kids were running in the back. We got stuck in the back at the masjid. The key is to get there on time and pray the first eight when uh, you get to the front row and the kids are in the back, so then you don't get disturbed. Okay, I have literally so much laundry. I'm not even kidding you guys. Since I've been back from Medina, I've done like five loads of laundry and I still have so many clothes to wash. Like, I have no idea what's going on. But I'm gonna do this. Normally I would listen to a lecture right now um, while I'm doing this because like when you're doing chores around the house, it's literally the best time to tune into something. But since I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna just skip that. Last night, luckily since I stayed up, I did get a lot of stuff done. So I finished all of the videos that I wanted to watch and then like on my own, I'm just like reading Quran. So yeah, I'm trying to stay productive. I will say, on Friday, which was yesterday, I wasn't that productive during the day and that's why I pulled like an all-nighter. So it's a give and take. I feel like during the day when I'm fasting, I'm honestly just like really lethargic. And so I have to like maximize the time that I'm like the most productive, which is at night. And yeah, so I'm gonna do my laundry. I'm gonna make these chocolate covered uh, dates so I can pass it out to neighbors and stuff because I, this is so bad. It's day three, but I still haven't like gifted anything to anyone, like haven't congratulated people, saying Ramadan Mubarak. My mom gifted our neighbors um, some stuff for Ramadan, like little baskets, but I want to send something out to all of my friends. So I'm going to do that tonight, inshallah. Also, I wanted to mention this on my YouTube channel. I've been talking about it on my Instagram, but I'm working with a nonprofit organization. I do this every Ramadan to help raise funds for a certain like area. This year, I'm working with UNRWA USA that partnered up with Islamic Relief. We're raising funds for Gaza, Syria, and Lebanon. We're sending out emergency food packages for these regions. They're going through a huge economic crisis. In Gaza, one out of two families goes hungry even after sunset. So after they break their fast, they still don't have food to eat, which is heartbreaking. If you're fasting this year, you know how incredibly hard it is, especially when it's the last few minutes and hours. You just want a good warm meal, and these people don't have that. So if you would like to, please consider donating. It is literally only $60 to feed an entire family of five to six people for the entire month of Ramadan. Not a week, not a two weeks, not three weeks. For the whole month, you can feed a family and give them sustenance, which is incredible. I'm encouraging people to do $60 so that it covers the entire month, but you can also do $30, $10, $20, whatever fits your budget. Um, and inshallah, we can make a big impact in these people's lives. So yeah, I'm gonna try to go downstairs now and make these dates. I'm honestly like dreading it because I'm tired and I don't have energy. So I got a few things from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna make chocolate covered dates. I think they're called like snicker dates. Basically it's a date. You put a almond piece inside of it and then coat it in um, milk chocolate or dark chocolate and then put crushed almonds on top and it's so good. So I went to Hobby Lobby, well oh, my little sister went, I sent her. I got these boxes to put the dates in and I thought that would be cute. And then we got these little golden muffin things to place the date in there. Got the chocolate. So I have a bowl and I'm gonna pour some chocolate chips in here and then melt it. So I'm gonna get this one. This is uh, extra semi-sweet. It's a chocolate all melted up. It looks so good. Okay, so now I'm going to take one little date and I'm gonna remove the pit. Don't worry, my hands are clean. I'm gonna remove the pit from inside and then I'm going to replace it with some sort of nut. I'm actually going to do a walnut instead of an almond. I have my almond. I'm going to put the walnut inside and it looks like that and then I'm going to dip it in here. I'm gonna, I coated the date. It actually looks really good. 
and then I'm going to put it on the parchment paper and let it dry. I'm also going to take a few bits of, I'm also going to garnish it with a few walnuts on top. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's one date done. I'm going to do a few more. I'm trying to make uh, maybe like 10 boxes to pass out. So I'm going to do a couple more. Guys, the dates look so cute. I'm so happy with them, but I think I'm going to pause here because I have to pop them in the freezer, um, I think for a couple hours. So once they harden, then I can assemble it in the box. I'm going to have Sana try them tomorrow, and if they're good, then I'm going to do pistachio, rose, and I'm going to do almond as well. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I have to wake up in about four hours for Sahur. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye!